especially in digital banking, is all where uh, ATM, cash deposit machine, then uh, debit card, credit card, e-payment, IMPS, NEFT, RTGS, NACH, all these things were are now increasing its use users are increasing base of that users is increasing every other day now entire digital banking how it has increased and up to what limit it has reached as a developing country how potential india as a country is that is been uh, stated in a news daily just four days back a news daily is having this report e banking che vistarit kshitij that is net banking or digital banking what we say and this was stated in a news uh, published on sunday when the maximum time readers are available at home and earlier once i have shared with you one particular uh, news article was at front page of one news daily Hmm? that even your mobile which is not even having whatsapp basic handset which is used for calling outgoing and incoming that also can perform internet transaction that also can perform banking transaction now one important paragraph out of this entire page uh, hope all of you understand uh, this particular language marathi now where in this particular news article uh, i am reading it please pay attention and you will come to know how technically advanced governing we are having in india sadhya internet banking hi vastrup ani digital yanche samishra swarup manje physical swarupat asun ti purna digital hone nadik cha bhavishya kalat shakya nahi दोन्ही व्यवस्थांचे फायदे फिजिटल पद्धतीत शक्य असल्याने हा सुवर्ण मध्य महत्वाचा ठरतो नव्या पिढीच्या या बँक ग्राहकांना उत्तम सेवा अखंडित सेवा स्वस्त सेवा देऊ शकतात आता ब्लॉकचेन तंत्राचा वापर करीत सर्वच व्यवहारांची खात्री करीत पूर्वी जे ते वित्त सेवा पोहोचू शकत नव्हत्या ते ते आता जात आहेत आय एम पी एस युपीआय याबाबत आपण केलेले व्यवहार साडेसहा लाख कोटींचा टप्पा पार करीत असून केवळ साध्या फोन ने सुद्धा आर्थिक व्यवहार पूर्तता केली जात आहे दिस रिसर्च आर्टिकल सॉरी दिस न्यूज पेपर आर्टिकल वॉज पब्लिश अँड द सेम न्यूज पेपर आर्टिकल आय हॅव शोन यू इन पॉवर पॉईंट प्रेझेंटेशन जनधन योजना व्यापक वित्तीय समावेशकता कार्यक्रमाचा भाग असून त्रेचाळीस कोटी कुटुंबे यू कॅन मल्टीप्लाय फोर्टी थ्री क्रोर इन टू इवन फोर पीपल that comes to count of hmm, 126 126 crore people 43 crore families are included in this particular financial inclusion vittiya samaveshakta va bhrashtachar rahit anshudan vatpachi yantrana e vouchers e rupee swarupat 21 august 2021 pasun karyanvanit jhaye ale hai hmm? आता दिस वन इज द लास्ट सेंटेन्स विच इज व्हेरी मच इम्पॉर्टंट हा लिसन केअरफुल्ली यामध्ये पूर्वी लाभार्थ्यांच्या खात्यावर पैसे दिले जात व त्याचा वापर कसा होतो हे नियंत्रणाबाहेर होते लाभार्थी इन द सेन्स दोज हु आर ऍग्रीकल्चर रिलेटेड वर्क डुईंग दोज हु आर फार्मर्स दोज हु आर लेबर्स आता खते घेण्यासाठी दिली जाणारी सबसिडी त्याला ई रुपी स्वरूपात मिळेल व त्याचा वापर कोणत्याही खत विक्रेत्याकडून त्याला खते घेण्यासाठीच खते घेण्यासाठीच करता येईल बँकिंग आणि समाज सामाजिक कल्याण असे ई तंत्राने शक्य होत आहे सो दिस इज वॉट रिलेटेड टू ई बँकिंग ऑर नेट बँकिंग फार्मर्स विच वेअर युज टू गेट सबसिडी ऑर वॉट वी से मनी फॉर परचेस ऑफ फॉर्डर agriculture fodder which they were used to purchase or uh, particular type of feed which is required for crops to grow better healthy and faster way it was not known to banks who are distributing it whether they are using that particular amount of money uh, deposited into their account for the same purpose 
but now onward with e rupee uh, facility they will be uh, knowing banks will be knowing if the same amount is getting used for purchase of fertilizers or not this is what the system up to date they have made it now 6.5 lakh what the statement we are made is 6.5 lakh crore rupees target we have completed and in near future we are about to reach 8 lakh crore rupees when it comes to e banking digital banking so these all facilities are there in the particular e banking sector and this much is the scope now let's come to our fifth and last topic innovation and banking and the first subtopic is artificial intelligence hope this word is heard by you all have you all heard artificial intelligence yes sir uh, or any uh, information you have about artificial intelligence that you can share even if you don't know you can say no okay uh, <laughs> i will go ahead with artificial intelligence and we will uh, uh, know it being the very new concept which is uh, coming in the market and the latest technological development which is talked about is artificial learn uh, intelligence and machine learning whenever we say artificial intelligence the very next word what comes to our mind is machine learning hmm? Artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science. It involves developing computer programs to complete tasks which would otherwise require human intelligence. Hmm? There are certain tasks what we repeatedly do. And those all tasks are happening in a mechanical way, required to be performed repeatedly, frequently, on daily basis, on hourly basis, and they are framed in a particular format. They're uh, doing the way that is done. If, if a physical force of human beings is required, early morning, a person is serving as a waiter in a hotel. He is looking fresh, attending carefully, hmm? listening to customers, promptly giving them reply, and by behavior, he is courteous, respectful towards his customer. The same waiter, after attending 80, 90 and 100 customers in his whole working day, when late evening, someone is arriving in a hotel and asking the same waiter service to be given, what he is giving in the morning, it is difficult for him. Being human, being human with uh, mind, brain, physical abilities and physical limits, he cannot give the same service late evening also. Hmm? You are getting my point what I am talking? Now when it comes to artificial intelligence, whatever task a human being can complete or human intelligence can do, that could be done by artificial intelligence. Now Algorithms can tackle learning, artificial intelligence, algorithms can tackle learning, perception, problem solving, language understanding, and or logical reasoning. Whatever things with human intelligence we do, hmm, we learn certain things. When it comes to typing a particular paper, what we do? When I have to type something, with typewriter before doing that typing what i am supposed to do i should learn how to type word which word should i type with my uh, ring finger which word i should type with my uh, thumb which word i should type with my pointing finger hmm? these all middle finger these all things i am supposed to learn for next three to four months once i become uh, learned once I come to know that this is the way our typing is happening, 
then with that skill of 30 word per minute 40 word per minute i find it very easy to type one letter and more than one letters uh, learning perception artificial algorithms can tackle perception problem solving when a vehicle is not giving proper service not doing her core business basic function of transportation these days when you go to any two wheeler mechanic also especially in the uh, big size cities what they do they uh, insert one particular key or one pointed uh, arrow into digital machine a digital meter of vehicle and the same cord its end is attached with computer that computer quickly displays where the problem is which spare part which auto part which replacement is required and mechanic is doing it accordingly this is what relevant with problem solving language understanding whether it is code word language or regular language whenever we are opening any educational institute site right hand bottom corner quickly you will receive one message the way we are typing whatsapp messages if you need any assistance we are here to attend you when you say what is the fees required to complete x y z course quickly that amount will come so these all things are related to problem solving language understanding etc now what all are the properties of an artificial intelligence traits or properties capable of predicting and adapting artificial intelligence uses algorithms that discover patterns from huge amounts of information hmm? artificial intelligence is using algorithms which discovers patterns from huge amount of information makes decision on its own now we are developing a robo huh? listen carefully artificial intelligence is required to have proper understanding then only how it is getting used in banking that we will come to know are you all there with me you are listening to me am i audible yes sir yes okay. sir okay makes decision on its own okay now we are having a robot and that robot is placed at the front door of our house during night time between 10 to morning 6 o'clock 7 o'clock for sake of prevention of theft if someone is using duplicate key and opening the door the moment that door opens that robot is giving one strong punch on the person's face or body who is standing opposite to him that robot is designed in a such a way that the moment that door opens he will give one strong punch to the person who is opening the door this robot is really performing well will he prevent thief or he is having some disadvantages what is your opinion you know there is a one logical or reasoning skill what we have to see, see here if one of our family member coming late night after 10 o'clock we are putting that robot in front of door being family member he is having keys of the door and he is opening that door what will happen the robot will give one strong punch to him also or her because robot as such do not have in his own uh, feelings that he is my family member and i wish i should not hit him in certain cases only 
artificial intelligence have power to make decisions we have developed up to that level that artificial intelligence is capable to augment human intelligence deliver insights and improve productivity continuous learning ai uses algorithms to construct analytical models from those algorithms ai technology will find out how to perform tasks through innumerable rounds of trial and error hmm? with rounds of trial and error ai develops with certain things which will not repeat any mistakes okay when we were preparing one artificial intelligence pattern for filling up application form for saving the account opening and certain mistakes were happening now in such situation that form even after having mistakes was getting accepted by bank on account of ai this shouldn't happen one particular thing with example continuous learning i will quote here please understand at your age and with the awareness social awareness or technological updates you are quite aware of these uh, websites which we on matrimony marathi matrimony.com shaadi.com vivah.com you heard of these websites heard of these websites or not yes ha huh? do you know there are certain websites which are called as matrim marathi matrimony.com shaadi.com yes sir heard of them or not yes sir okay now when we open these websites what all are the information we are required to fill name gender age photograph bio data horoscope income occupation everything is required to be filled so that a prosperous candidate suitable candidate groom or bride vice versa will sources now with example or with reference of continuous learning there is one uh, gimmick or disadvantage what we can talk about where it is required to write annual, annual income or per month salary instead of writing income in digits what if person is writing his 10 digit mobile number machine will also accept it because all those are 10 digits only when we are asking someone to fill up form in hard copy we come to know when he is filing up hard copy and when it comes to that income column and he is writing 10 digits that may be 9822012345698221987654 hmm we will come to know as a human being that this is not the income what he is having 10 digits means how much it comes into 100 crore a person cannot have his income up to 9800 crore 9800 crore 12 lakh then 34564 rupees like this but machine will accept it as his income and what happens once he is entering that uh, digits as mobile number into his income rest all people many of them will follow this practice and shaadi.com as a mediator between bride and groom won't be able to serve their purpose so this way they have to learn continuous learning ai is forward looking artificial intelligence is a tool that allows people to reconsider how we analyze data and integrate information and then use these insights to make better decision how we analyze data this is what the example i given you when it comes to digits instead of writing it in rupees if you are writing your mobile number landline number hmm, that also will considered as your income 
and people directly will have contact with each other instead of considering um, shadi.com marathimatri.com as a mediator and giving them their commission why we should but that will not serve purpose of shadi.com so these all factors are there ai is capable of motion and perception so these all are properties of artificial intelligence now there are different types of artificial intelligence the first type is artificial intelligence today is accurately known as narrow artificial intelligence or weak ai weak artificial intelligence it is non sentiment non sentient machine intelligence hmm? which do not have any sentiment typically designed to perform a narrow task typically designed to perform a narrow task where when we are booking ticket we are uh, generating any receipt we are having one mechanized way of doing certain things there it is used what example given here only facial recognition or only internet searches or only driving a car these all are mechanized way of performing a particular task wherein skill art or any other type of innovation is not required when you want to speed up your car you have to change gear whether it's you sitting in the driver's side uh, driver's seat or me sitting in the driver seat what task i will perform to increase the speed of that car the same task you will also perform and that way when that artificially intelligent robot have to perform that also will do the same there's nothing big when it comes to this type of artificial intelligence facial recognition we just have to take measurements of face and then we have to re recognize it where facial recognition is used when it comes to your attendance biometric attendance hmm? when we are going into a secret room when we have to prove our identity these all types of uh, task they are done by weak artificial intelligence however the long term goal of many researchers is to create an artificial general intelligence agi or strong artificial intelligence which is a, a machine with the ability to apply intelligence to any problem ability to apply intelligence to any problem rather than just one specific problem typically meaning at least as smart as a typical human at least as smart as a typical human when it comes to flood or any natural calamity like situation as a human being we perform different types of solutions some of those are making channels to the water flowing in a particular way leaving the places where high tide or high level of water is clogged unblocking the municipal gutters or hmm, living at certain height these all things are person to person different how intelligent we are to form or to face the problem that depends on as a individual when it comes to generalized or general intelligence uh, our uh, robot will be that much uh, uh, intelligent what a human being is because every other problem will not be of same nature will not be of same depth will not be of same dimension will not be required to have same solution for 10 different problems that way we have to think while narrow artificial intelligence may outperform humans at whatever its specific task is like playing chess we have seen that a robo also can play chess and when it comes to playing chess 
making mathematical calculation or solving arithmetic problems he can do it much faster than human being heard of this hope you heard now is lying playing chess or solving equations uh, artificial general intelligence would outperform humans at nearly every mental task whatever mental task we do it will outperform <clears throat> now type 2 is based on functionalities artificial intelligence next type is based on functionalities that one is purely reactive how it is explained here reactive machines are basic in that they do not store memories or use past experiences to determine future actions they simply perceive the world and react to it ibm's deep blue hmm, which defeated chess grandmaster gary kasparov is a reactive machine that sees the pieces on a chess board and reacts to them it cannot refer to any of its prior experiences and cannot improve with practice hmm? ibm's deep blue was a robot or a uh, device which was uh, invented as a result of artificial intelligence what it did it defeated chess grandmaster hmm, world number 1 player gary kasparov from russia hmm, that is a reactive machine when he was playing one particular uh, set hmm, he was attacking with one of his uh, uh, step hmm, to defend him to defeat him hmm, the ibm's deep blue was playing something else now when next time the same player will play or the other player will play he will have the same reaction he will not remember that once before he played it with gary kasparov or this time he should make use of some other types of uh, strategies to play the chess and to win that game this is what related to purely reactive limited memory limited memory machines can retain data for a short period of time while they can use this data for a specific period of time they cannot add it to a library of their experiences many self driving cars use limited memory technology they store data such as the recent speed of nearby cars the distance of such cars the speed limit and other information that can help them navigate roads when <coughs> limited memory machines or robots have to retain data for driving a car they what type of limits they know that they have to maintain certain distance with rear and front car hmm? when it comes to signal they have to stop when it comes to any type of traffic sign they have to follow the traffic rules which particular car to their left or near, uh, right is running faster than their car what speed they have to maintain on road what all are the traffic regulations they are supposed to maintain these all simple memories they keep in their mind hmm? this is what type 2 based on functionalities now the theory of point which is the important aspect to understand for artificial intelligence psychology tells us that people have thoughts emotions memories and mental models that drive their behavior hope this is as a sentence is very much interesting and you understood what psychology says hmm, people have thoughts with their birth taken family their upbringing their culture the people whom they meet the moral values what they get inculcated by their family and society 
द एक्सपीरियंसेस थ्रू विच दे गो इन देअर लाईफ वॉट इट डेव्हलप इट डेव्हलप थॉट्स इट डेव्हलप इमोशन्स इट डेव्हलप मेमरीज हाऊ मेनी पीपल अराउंड हिम वेअर मॅक्झिमम टाईम अकंपनीड हिम दॅट मे बी हिज पेरेंट्स गार्डियन्स फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव्ह नेबर्स ऑर नॅशनल हिरोज ए पर्सन मे हॅव इन्फ्लुएन्स ऑन हिम इन डेप विथ अ पॉलिटिशियन विथ हिस्ट्री with cricket players with uh, bollywood or hollywood actors that may be is uh, uh, there in his emotions and memories and mental models that drive their behavior these all factors are related to what type of upbringing we had <clears throat> what moral values we got inculcated with whether we were into orthodox family whether we are born in orthodox family mixed culture family or modern family indian families are divided into three types orthodox they are stuck up with their culture tradition customs beliefs do's and don'ts likes and dislikes these all factors are there strictly followed our children are under high influence with their parents and grandparents also orthodox family are mostly joint families mixed culture families wherein combination of modern values and traditional values could be seen and modern families most of them are small size family cell family wherein not more than four members are living and they have adopted culture which is currently followed by most of the developed countries in spite of their own orthodox culture they don't believe in traditions and customs so these all factors are related to our emotions memories and mental model theory of mind researchers hope to build computers that imitate our mental model by forming representations about the world and about other agents and entities in it one goal of these researchers is to build computers that relate to humans and perceive human intelligence and how people's emotions are impacted by events and the environment while plenty of computers use models a computer with a mind does not yet exist here one example is given that is c3po r2d2 from star wars universe and sony in the 2004 film i robot these are hollywood movies robot as a hollywood movie or star wars universe and sony these all are hollywood movies robot is a hollywood movie wherein a robot with human emotions was shown which is having both way negative as well as positive feelings also they may be used to destroy this whole world or they may be used for well being of human beings this is what related to theory of mind self awareness self aware machines are the stuff of science fiction though many artificial intelligence enthusiasts believe them to be the ultimate goal of ai development even if a machine can operate as a person does for example by preserving itself predicting its own needs and demands and relating to others as an equal the questions of whether a machine can become truly self aware or conscious is best left for philosophers see these all things what we do have as a human being in built as we belong to different religion race ethnicity community caste sub caste economic background profession occupation culture country state climatic conditions with these all factors it is difficult for it is difficult for 
artificial intelligence to design one unique model which will have universal appeal we can develop machines in simple language we can develop machines but we cannot develop emotions they may be different at different situations they may be different at different problems at different times with different persons also so in such situation it will be difficult for us to have one unique model one shoes fits all size no this cannot be possible now here in self awareness what it is stated even if a machine can operate a person does for example by preserving itself predicting its own needs and demand and relating to others as an equal the question of whether a machine can become truly self aware or conscious is best left for philosophers examples like eva in the 2015 movie ex machina and since in the 2015 tv series humans now if a machine can operate as a person does how we operate we have professional personal and social needs hmm then we predict our own needs that may be basic needs social needs self actualization needs and there are many others also we can demand for certain things and when it comes to our needs we relate them to others also sometimes we help others also to satisfy their needs now this particular thing we can inculcate we can make such type of machine who will come to know his own needs and who will fulfill it this is not possible with example of 2015 movie ex machina and tv serial humans it is stated here now what is meant by artificial intelligence that as part of basic concept i have explained you hmm? our main concern is to understand how artificial intelligence is used in banking sector ai can also help banks to manage cyber threats hmm? in 2019 the financial sector accounted almost 39 29% of all cyber attacks making it the most targeted industry with the continuous monitoring capabilities of artificial intelligence in financial services banks can respond to potential cyber attack before they affect employees customers or internal system cyber attacks most of the time happens with hackers they are targeting whom where in getting password user id account number one time password id proof all these things they want to get from potential customers existing customers of any bank and not just for one customer at a time they want to hack 1000 2000 and more than that data so that whatever balance in account in their saving account in their current account is stored that all can, could get credited that all could get transferred to their account so that in lump sum they can make scandal of crores of rupees so this is what related to artificial uh, intelligence in banking and finance chatbots hmm? this particular concept chatbot is quite popular these days before taking admission to any particular college if you go to the website of that college a quickly responding person that may be artificial or actual human will reply you now chatbots are one of the best examples of practical applications of ai once deployed they can work 24 by 7 hmm, what they do they quickly say to you hi hello the way we type whatsapp message when we open website they will give basic information of the company services which are provided 
different types of services with their title and brief description they will ask you very first question how may i assist you when you raise your query there will be certain ready made answers for frequently asked questions and we pure question is frequently asked quickly they will post or display an answer for you these are the concept of chatbots and these chatbots are artificial not actual human being at 12 in the midnight also you open that website and put that question you will quickly get reply but when it comes to kpo or bpo you will find that certain voices are tired late evening late night early morning because they work in shifts but 24 by 7 it is difficult for humans to operate additionally they keep on learning about the usage pattern of a particular customer when you are using your banking account for fixed deposit mutual fund or certain types of other transactions and your transactions when uh, analyzed for one accounting year or two accounting year certain months of your year you are spending too much you are spending on vacation you are spending on purchase of gold jewelry you are spending on garment this is quite possible with indian customers during diwali vacation by knowing this trend of one customer two customer 100 1000 and 10 lakh customer a bank can design particular service product financial service product which will have attractive discount for those specific months and what it will how it will come to know with these chatbots with these chatbots they can keep on learning about the usage pattern of a particular customer it helps them understand the requirements of a user in an efficient manner so this is what relevant with chatbots hmm? by integrating chatbots into banking apps the banks can ensure that they are available for their customers round the clock more or by understanding customers behavior chatbots are able to offer personalized customer support you shouldn't feel that i am getting ready made diplomatic formal answers only as a individual what i need what is my requirement if i am going wrong while investing something or i am personally attended by one expert that feeling should come to my mind when i am having communication on chatbots hmm? and recommend suitable financial service and product accordingly one of the best example of artificial intelligence chatbot in banking apps is erica hmm? you can source this through google search engine a virtual assistant from the bank of america erica is a virtual assistant from bank of america this ai chatbot can handle tasks like credit card debt reduction and card security updates erica managed over 50 million client requests in 2019 50 million 1 million is equal to 10 lakh 10 million is equal to 1 crore 50 million is equal to 5 crore within a financial year or you can say calendar year erica a chatbot or banking app attended 5 crore customers in 2019 so up to this i have completed now when we are using artificial intelligence in banking apps definitely they are innovative features whenever any computer science innovative feature gets introduced in the market the very first thing required for it is to be understood by bankers themselves once they understand this particular app ai chatbot 
or any type of innovative technical feature needed to be implemented in generalized way most of the time all bankers undergo a rigorous training that training may be of half working day or for even two weeks training 12 working days and once it is understood by all bankers who want to implement it in the market they are operating it by huge advertisement because convincing customers to make use of certain apps and then uh, giving them confidence that this particular ai is very much beneficial to you with huge size country like india and with population of 135 crore people where around 30 crore people are living below poverty line with literacy rate of 78% and huge rural area almost 75% of total population living in villages such type of innovations are always challenging to implement very much appealing but challenging also but these days most of the artificial intelligence with app with robot with machine nowadays are user friendly the very basic important thing what needs to be done that every other innovation what it comes for human well being that should be user friendly a person who is operating it should not feel that it will have any risk component attached with his physical or anything else that is uh, uh, what we say driving what type of driving we were talking of hmm? car driving so this is what related to when we are having robots to drive car or a system design inside car inbuilt in the car wherein no driver no physical human driver is required of course that innovation is having high level of research but apart from drive car self driven car the passengers which are sitting inside they will have uh, what we say uh, they will feel risky if the this self driven car will follow the traffic rules will not meet with any accident will not have any uh, damage or anything else these all factors are needed to be tackled also customers who are investing their money whether it is self driven car or any type of banking transaction they want their money to remain safe they want their property to remain safe and they there shouldn't be any physical or mental harm which may happen to them these all factors are needed to be studied when it comes to artificial intelligence and chatbots like things that are happening now what happens when we are talking to any human being and if something goes wrong on account of information wrong given by him hmm, we can uh, hold him responsible what about chatbot if say, uh, giving any wrong information and misguiding us actually there is no chance that a chatbot will give wrong information but these type of questions queries may come in human mind so these all factors needs to be studied hope you are uh, clear up to this point it's 750 now and i will stop here
my voice was audible to you yes sir okay now uh, tomorrow at 7 o'clock we will go for machine learning and if possible blockchain also i expect that by tomorrow i will finish your one paper digital banking and there won't be any other lectures to uh, continue it depends on how much length artificial intelligence and blockchain requires based on that we will think if we are having need of uh, another lecture or tomorrow we will have only one lecture to complete okay thank you all good night thank you sir welcome